This is another tutorial for Roland's Zen Tracker app. This one is about automation. Automation is a way of creating changes in your audio track automatically. In other words, you don't have to be stuck with just one panorama setting or one volume setting or just having a plug-in effect be on or off. You can tell the program to gradually or suddenly change something and it's as easy as drawing a line. Tap the button in the bottom left hand corner to switch to audio editing mode. Select the track you are working with it by tapping on it. It will turn light gray. To the right of the sound meter, tap on the little orange arrow to reveal four buttons. Solo, Mute, Record Enable, and Automation. You may also want to zoom in vertically and horizontally. Use the plus minus buttons next to the scroll bars. The automation button looks like dots connected by lines. Tap on that and then tap on add new automation. You will see a list of options. For this tutorial, I am selecting Volume. Start by tapping the paintbrush icon. This will allow you to simply draw the shape that you want. If you decide you don't like the shape that you've drawn, you can delete it. Tap on the bar that says Volume with the automation icon on the top left. This reveals a menu. Tap on Remove Automation, then tap on Volume. Or you can also tap on Edit Automation. If you want a less curvy line, you can select the icon with two points connected by a line. Tap on the audio to create a point and a line. Then tap elsewhere on the line to make another point. Then switch to the arrow icon and you can select and move the points. This makes more sudden changes to the volume. For gradual changes, the paintbrush is the better tool. You can switch views so that you can see just the recorded part, the audio sample, that you want to work with by tapping first on the recorded audio, then on the pencil icon below the audio image. This way you don't have to fiddle with the zoom button. We will look more closely at this view in the tutorial on editing audio and making loops. Automation can be applied to pan to create the effect of sounds moving around the space and also to all other effects. Musically speaking, you can overuse automation, but in the process of learning, don't hold back. Experiment boldly to get a sense of what you can do and what you find interesting.
Wacka, 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 wacka